Welcome to another episode of Hardware Lens. In today's video we are going to be doing a hard mod on a 1080 Ti to remove the power limit. Uh, but before that uh, we would like to announce that we are currently taking requests for new PC builds. Um, so if you want to have a PC built by us uh, we can do that for you. We don't charge anything but the cost of the parts and you can buy them yourself if you'd like or we can buy them for you. Uh, but we need the content for our channel, so if you'd like a custom PC, uh, we can do high-end budget builds, anything you want, custom water cooling loops. We need the content for our channel, so if you would like to have that done by us, uh, please send us an email at hardwarelens at gmail.com or leave a message for us in the comments. We would be happy to build you a PC. Okay, so let's get back to the topic of our video today. Um, so yeah, we're about three years behind, or three and a half years too late here with the 1080 Ti content, but uh, this video is uh, just for fun, because like many of you, I have been trying to get my hands on a 3090, um, because I do a lot of uh, flight simming with VR, uh, with prepared flight simulator, and uh, X-Plane is, is similar as well. Not so much with the new uh, Microsoft flight sim yet, because it's just uh, not not to the uh, level that, that I want it to be at as an aviation enthusiast, but it's uh, it's getting there. But for now, I, I do a lot of uh, VR with prepared, and uh, it's uh, my VRAM at 11 gigs with the 1080 Ti is, is maxed out with prepared. So I just I need more power. So I'm really hoping to get a 3090, but uh, like everybody else, I haven't been able to find one. They're just... Uh, near impossible to get right now so um, we had a lot of uh, things planned for the channel with the RTX 3000 series but uh, we still haven't gotten our hands on one so uh, that being said um, it's uh, given me time to think about uh, maybe opening up some power here that is hidden in my 1080 Ti so uh, the first thing the first way to do that besides uh, you know, unless you want to do a BIOS mod or um, flash a new BIOS or, or just uh, overclocking with what you can do uh, through software, the next thing is a hard mod. And uh, the first hard mod that I'm going to try on this GPU is uh, removing the power limit. So the way we do that, and uh, this is a guide here. Um, that I found and it, it's going to be linked in the description below but this is really the only the only way that, that it really works so what you're going to do is you're going to have to find this chip here on your uh, GPU and this will work for a 1080 any Pascal series will have this uh, voltage controller here or, or uh, monitor voltage monitor chip and it's an INA3221 power sensor so um, uh, the way the mod works is you you take uh, two resistors and you or three resistors and you solder them on top of these capacitors. These are uh, 0805 uh, size capacitors here, uh, so we're going to take some uh, 10 ohm 0805 size resistors and we're going to solder them on uh, right on top of these capacitors. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, make the GPU think it's pulling much less power than it actually is and uh, basically remove the power limit on the card so uh, when I when I notice when I'm when I'm using uh, VR or pretty much uh, any gaming workload these days um, the power limit uh, comes on and off on and off so um, I'm hoping that uh, by removing the power limit, I'll get some more uh, steady frames with uh, maybe less stutters. So um, make sure you do it this way. There's some other uh, power mod videos out there for NVIDIA GPUs which involve uh, soldering on top of the shunt resistors, uh, putting a resistor on top, or putting liquid metal on top. And that doesn't really work. Um, the cards, uh, it just it trips some kind of... Uh, puts the card into um, into uh, safety mode and and 
or it won't deactivate the power limit at all. Uh, so make sure you do it this way and uh, these look way bigger than they actually are so they're actually very very small so it's not that easy to do it uh, if you're not good at soldering uh, maybe practice a little first because you can uh, it's 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 kind of difficult so make sure you have a good soldering iron with a very small tip and take your time with it um, okay so uh, let's uh, let's get into the mod itself Okay, so while you watch me fail at soldering for a little while longer, um, I thought I'd mention uh, a few things. Uh, for one, this is uh, a 1080 Ti Founders Edition, and uh, you might be wondering if the uh, VRM can take the extra load that we're going to put on it by opening up the power limit. And in this case, yes, I would say it can. It's a seven-phase VRM, and it's uh, Nvidia actually did a pretty good job of designing the VRM for this card. So I'm really not worried about it, uh, especially with this hybrid cooler I have. Uh, there's a fan blowing directly on the MOSFETs, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, the next thing you might be wondering, um, 
uh, is uh, this card has a 6 pin and an 8 pin connector not dual 8 pins or triple 8 pins or anything like that like you see on some of the newer high power limit cards uh, and that's not a problem uh, there's a misconception that a 6 pin connector can only handle 75 watts and an 8 pin connector can only handle 150 watts and that's uh, simply not true uh, those those connectors, that's the ATX spec, the minimum spec, but those connectors can, uh, the combination can handle typically probably around 500, 600 watts. So there's no issue at all there. I'm not worried about doing any damage to the card with the power draw. Um, I really don't think it'll make any impact on the GPU lifespan or anything like that. Uh, it's, we're, not, we're not even overvolting it in this case. It's, um, I took a look at the temps. I didn't record them for this video, but the temps weren't really much different uh, between the runs when we uh, do the benchmarks for this so okay so we'll get back to the mod now and uh, okay so those just a couple quick things I thought I'd mention uh, while we're doing this let's get back to soldering Okay, so now that the uh, mod is done, we uh, put the GPU back in the system and everything is working fine, luckily. Uh, so that's a big relief. Uh, we didn't mess anything up. Um, so we're going to we're gonna show some results from the uh, first test. So we, we did this. Uh, we ran a couple benchmarks with the power limit um, as far as we can get it software in software, which is 120%. And we measured the uh, wattage using a watt meter uh, at the back of the uh, at the power cord of the PC. So uh, we're measuring total power consumption, not just not GPU power consumption here. So it's indirect. Um, so you can see uh, the first benchmark is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and at the home screen, we're the system's pulling 440 watts. And uh, when the benchmark is running, we see around 420, 440, and it maxes out at one point at 476. Um, average frame rate was 38 FPS, uh, minimum was 27, and the maximum was 60. 
and this is the 4k benchmark uh, ultra settings everything's maxed out um, so the next one that we ran was uh, time spy extreme we ran a custom benchmark at 1440p I played around with it try to get the most power draw from it um, so we saw uh, we, we noticed the GPU did downclock it, it hit a low of uh, 1911 megahertz uh, as opposed to the 2000 where we have it clocked um, so uh, power consumption w w was around uh, 410 then it maxed out at 460 at some point but it hovered around 430 440 for most of the run and we got a score of 8871 so after the uh, after the hard mod we ran everything again and uh, we could see that the GPU was running normally so it wasn't in safety mode or anything and the power limit didn't come on at all now during any of these tests where it was coming on and off before during the other tests so with the power limit disabled uh, we noticed we were pulling 420 watts at the home screen of Assassin's Creed and then running the benchmark it was mostly around 430 to 450, 460 and it did max out at 559 at one point uh, the average frame rate was 40 which was uh, two frames higher than with the power limit uh, the minimum was 17 and the maximum was 72 so the minimum uh, that, w that was uh, a little bit lower than the minimum from before but that was a small outlier I guess um, but the max was quite a bit higher and the average uh, was just a little higher so I don't know how much difference it really makes but uh, so uh, then we ran Time Spy again, same settings, um, and uh, power draw was uh, a little bit higher this time, as expected. Started out at 427, then we uh, were around the 440 to 470 range for most of the rest of the run, and we did hit a peak of 497 uh, during that benchmark. Um, interestingly, the score was actually slightly worse, but uh, within the margin of error so we went from 8871 to 8866 so it didn't really make much of a difference with uh, time spy uh, so uh, I guess it really doesn't make too much of a difference um, the biggest benefit to this is if you're going to do the vault mod uh, which is further down in the guide uh, we didn't do that today maybe we'll do it again uh, depending on how bored we get and how long it takes us to get a 3090 maybe we'll do a vault mod too um, that's where you'll probably really see the benefits of this power mod uh, but uh, if you do uh, every GPU workload is different so if you have a very uh, power intensive workload you're doing something with the GPU that just makes it pull a lot of power uh, for some reason then uh, this mod will probably benefit you more than it appeared to benefit me in this video um, so I uh, haven't tried VR yet with uh, prepared or explain so I am interested to see if it feels any smoother without uh, without the GPU down clocking when it gets under very high load so it'll be interesting to see if there's any noticeable difference there or not um, but anyway thanks for uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video uh, remember, if you want a custom PC built uh, by us for uh, just the cost of the parts, let us know. Um, you can contact us, hardwarelens at gmail.com, or send us a message in the comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe, and let us know how we did. Thanks.